from fellow Democrats, President Obama today relented and announced a plan that will allow health insurance companies to renew plans that they had previously canceled. The plans were canceled because they fall short of coverage mandated under the Affordable Care Act. The president instituted what's called an administrative fix. That, folks, is an edict that effectively alters the law. The decision by Mr. Obama comes as Democrats threatened an all-out open revolt, even drawing up plans in Congress to reverse part of the health care law. Before the law went into effect, the president repeatedly said, quote, if you like your plan, you can keep your plan, a promise that did not prove true for several million people who received cancellation notices. He has since apologized. It's unclear, however, the total impact of this decision. To help sort through today's developments is Hadley Heath, a senior policy analyst from Independent Women's Forum, a group that has been critical of Obamacare in the past. Good afternoon, Hadley. Thank you for coming on Arise Exchange. Thank you for having me. Let me just talk from a practical standpoint. We know where you kind of fall on the overall issue, but will this fix resolve the issue of cancellations? Even the president himself in his remarks today said that now this falls to state-level insurance commissioners and the insurance companies themselves. The practical question is, realistically, can insurance companies and will insurance companies have enough time in the next 50 days to sort out what happens January 1st with these plans? Boy, this is going to be confusing. So you get a cancellation notice, and now you're going to get another notice saying, never mind? Well, it's possible, but clearly the goal of the White House with the president's remarks today was to shift blame away from the Affordable Care Act and make it clear that the federal government, at least, will allow these plans to continue to be offered. But this is a very difficult position for insurers, given that for the past three and a half years or so, they've been preparing for this moment to actually cancel those plans. Do you think the president did this because he knew that there is a broken part of the law here that he wants to fix? Or do you think that it just became too politically inconvenient for him to continue, especially when you have someone like California Senator Diane? And Feinstein, who has no challengers coming out so vocally opposed to what's been going on. Well, I certainly think the fracturing among Democrats in this issue was something the president wanted to get ahead of. We saw in the Senate an effort led by Senator Landrieu to offer legislation that would go even further than the president's fix to this problem and mandate that insurance companies continue to offer those canceled plans. So certainly he's trying to be a leader and unite Democrats in a way that they don't have to take a vote on this issue because it's a very difficult issue. Practically, according to the policy, if you allow these plans to continue to be offered, this could take away from the pools of, of insurance companies that are trying to operate in the exchanges or trying to offer ACA compliant plans. So certainly there's a policy issue with continuing to offer these plans, but there's also the political issue of the president's broken promise. Uh, he's trying to correct that now. Hallie, let me ask you something. You come from a relatively conservative group, but is it possible that it's going to be the Democrats who are going to lead us out of this and make this act actually better? Because the Republicans probably don't want to help the president. Well, that seems to be the political standstill. Republicans don't want to do anything to fix Obamacare, and it's unclear whether or not Democrats can. Of course, before President Obama was elected, there was a lot of disagreement among people on the left about whether to use an Obamacare approach, one with a mandate forcing people to buy insurance, or to go directly to a single-payer system. I would not be surprised to see Democrats proposing that we go as far as, as socialized medicine in the next steps. But you will also see Republicans, I believe, try to take some leadership and propose alternative health reform plans as Americans continue to be disillusioned with Obamacare. Okay, Hadley, Hadley Heath from the Independent Women's Forum, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Coming up, Africa has some of the fastest growing economies. How to invest in the African future. You're watching Arise Exchange.